Hey, today's my first time on um, my upgraded skate, which is the same rollerblade Twister H. But today I installed the 3VD uh, frames, so it's possible to upgrade the skate. Instead of 80 millimeters wheels, I have 110 millimeters wheels. It's my first time trying wheels uh, bigger than 80 millimeters, so brand new. I went some distance, like five kilometers or so, not, not that far, but I was trying to go fast and also I'm not very used to just going on a distance or on a speed. So maybe I was actually quite slow and I was uh, feeling that I'm working out. I went to the place which I never thought about before because it was like twice further from my house than I usually go. Now I actually found a good route where I don't bump into traffic lights too much and I actually go on the good roads so I can go to this nice park it's not crowded at all there is no people only one skater that I saw the roads are really good so I can just go for a distance and try to train my movement of going on the speed skates I guess they feel a bit weird for the first time like I have less of uh, maneuverability which I thought wouldn't change too much because the, the frame length uh, stays around the same but once you go forward you really go nicely and very smooth this is a really nice feeling when you don't make a lot of effort but you go quite fast braking on the skates i do the t-stop usually i just don't want to spoil my wheel so quickly and i prefer to not brake <laughs> i just try to yeah, to avoid the obstacles instead of breaking. So many flies. It's so nice exploring this little park. Actually, it's not that little. It's way bigger than the ones I've been before. I understood that I'm lacking some of the maneuverability. I know what you will say. Uh, that I should put the wheel uh, on front a bit smaller, 105 millimeters. I might. I first want to get used to this setup because for now it seems like I'm not having the full control anymore of my skate. I still can do some of the things that I could do with four wheels, but I don't have this control that I've had. So basically, when I try to stop, I can't stop right away. I have to do way more efforts to stop. When I try to do some turning trick, I can still do it. I can also balance on my toes a little. Yeah, it, it works. It might also not work sometimes. The biggest problem now is stopping. Like I can't properly brake. And when I try to brake, my path of braking is so long. It's not working immediately sometimes. So maybe I should learn some other ways of, of, of stopping. For now, I actually want to use them for going long distances on the good roads, you know, like actually like workout skating or I don't know, meditation skating for some people. So it's not for the tricks and stuff like that. It's not for slalom. Although I know people do slalom on it just fine. They just put the rocker setup and they uh, can do all the things. For balancing on the toes, I don't really need a rocker setup, right? Anyway, yeah, I, th I think I will be swapping the frames from time to time so I can do different kinds of activities on my skate. I was even considering that I want to try more aggressive skating. Just try, because I was always curious how that feels. But I always was a bit like anxious to try. And also I need a helmet for that, because without the helmet it's not recommended to do. It might end really bad. For now I'm actually enjoying of just going fast, straight forward mostly, going around the park, in the woods, that is perfect, that is just fine. If I want to do some something different, like some tricks and stuff, I will do that on my previous setup because now I don't have control at all. <laughs> I'll see if that improves, I'll see, maybe, maybe I'll be able to gain that control here. Now I am properly tired, it takes me longer to take off or like accelerate in the beginning but once I go I go faster and my feet get less tired but also because I think on this uh, frames and on these wheels 
I spread my way, it's a bit different than I'm used to. Now I'm using muscles I'm not using a lot usually. And because of that, my feet started hurting now. That is a good hurting, <laughs> not a bad hurting. So on the second day, I actually figured that I can do everything or pretty much everything that I could before on this uh, skates on with bigger wheels they are probably more stable they feel more stable so like balancing on one foot feels easier on the other hand I feel like they stick to the ground more so they less want to turn or to when I already expect them to make a movement it's still not the doing that so I guess because I'm manipulating them still in the way that I have been used. Now I should relearn it a little, but I'm really happy that I can do everything that I could before. Actually, the jumps and everything feel more stable, it feels nicer, the wheels are bigger, and sometimes I might actually uh, hit my front wheel with my back wheel or something like that. But I really enjoyed skating with the tricks as well on this wheels, even though it's not intended for it mostly, I think. I just wanted to check that it actually works, so I did it extensively. Uh, one thing is that on my toes, when I try to to spin, I can't do it yet. I thought it doesn't make any difference uh, what size of the wheels I'm using, but it actually does. I was thinking that I will have to switch my frame from time to time uh, to be using them for different purpose, but probably, probably it won't be necessary. I'll maybe sp uh, switch my front wheels for a little smaller ones, maybe that will be an option for me, I'm considering. So I think I think it will be fine for some time, especially now that I like to go on a bit longer distance. It feels way nicer. I'm less tired on the way, I'm more tired in the end. I, I know it sounds a bit weird, but it is how it is. So I actually enjoyed it. 